Hello, I'm Katiana Ballantyne. I'm running for re-election as alderman for Ward 7. This will be my third term. In my first two terms, my focus was open accessible government, affordability, and jobs. And you continue to tell me these are still important issues for you. I'm happy to have this time to tell you about myself, talk about what we've accomplished together, and ask you for your help to keep focused on these important issues as we move forward. For those of you who don't know me, I'd like to share my story with you. All of the most important experiences in my adult life have happened here in Ward 7 and Somerville, where I've lived for nearly 25 years. I was single here. I got married while living here. I bought a home here, renovated it. I became the mother of two daughters who attend the Somerville Public Schools. I finished my MBA. I started a business here. I began my second career in nonprofit management and ran for elected office. My professional experience is 30 years long, 20 of those years mostly in international business, and 10 years ago, I transitioned into nonprofit management, working for a community development corporation in economic development, working as a consultant for an environmental nonprofit, and most recently as executive director a violence prevention organization delivering a specialized after-school programming for girls living in high-risk violence neighborhoods while simultaneously working as your alderman. Like a lot of us in the early 1990s, I chose to make Somerville my home because it was affordable, accessible, and livable. I've stayed here for nearly 25 years because of the wonderful people I've met. We met through volunteering and giving back in the public schools, at Somerville Community Corporation as a board member, advoca advocating for mixed-use development at Assembly Square when the words mixed-use were not common vocabulary, advocating for the Green Line extension, advocating for better planning, advocating for affordability, and attending neighborhood meetings, meetings for schools, meetings to plan new playgrounds, to name a few. The people who live here in Somerville are amazing. We have a real brain trust, people with ideas, and we've accomplished a lot together. Our shared vision of open, accessible government, affordability, and jobs is what guides me as I consider each decision that I make as your alderman. I always ask myself how each decision will advance our shared vision, like open, accessible government. I've called you back when you called, emailed you back when you emailed, met you in your homes to talk, met you in cafes to hear your concerns and issues. In any given year, I meet with over 100 individuals. I've worked to make myself accessible, clarify government, processes, services, and advocate for your issues. Twice a year, I organize joint open office hours with Senator Pat Jalen, Representative Christine Barber, and Ward 7 school rep, Carrie Norman, so we can connect the dots between local to state government. I've worked for our shared visions of affordability through development. Development's happening, and we need to be smart and strategic about development. I work to do everything I can to make sure development works for us, diversifying our tax base, creating jobs, and most importantly, fighting for the needs of our residents. I've done this by supporting 20% inclusionary zoning for all new housing development, by pushing developers to build office space for new local jobs instead of more luxury condos, and by working for linkage requirements to connect local residents with local jobs. Like our shared vision to improve the quality of life, I've pushed Tufts University to be a more responsive neighbor. I've submitted a home rule petition for an institutional master plan requirement. This legislative tool would require large, local, multi-million dollar and multi-billion dollar nonprofits to disclose their expansion plans in advance. We should know what future impacts will be caused by their expansion into our neighborhoods. I address the issue of illegal rooming houses, disrupting parties, businesses operating, in violation of their permits, traffic, planting trees, eliminating double telephone poles, repaving streets, missing streetlights, and much more. 
I also support our shared vision of supporting our immigrant population by being a welcoming sanctuary city. I've supported kids with good schools and resources necessary to keep our public schools healthy because schools make good community. I want to work with families in Somerville and families need good school and the environment. I've supported every local effort to combat climate change and to keep our environment healthy, like the plastic bag ban, the styrofoam ban, initiated zoning code to add for the first time a sustainability section to Somerville zoning code. I've submitted ordinances to require native trees to control nighttime light pollution, to encourage green roofs and etc. And to create focus on Alewife Brook, Mystic River, the DCR parklands in Ward 7 and Somerville. Going forward, I need your help to keep focused on these important issues. We need to work together this year to get the best new zoning possible for Somerville in order to shift the tax burden from the residential property owner. Advocate and create zoning for more office commercial development in the transformative districts of Assembly Square, Union Square, Boynton Yards, Inner Belt. This way, we'll have the increased revenue and the local jobs needed to ensure the city's financial health. I need your help to give input and advocate for Ward 7 development projects of Clarendon Hill North Street and the empty lot in Teal Square. Design safe streets in the neighborhoods along Powderhouse Boulevard and in our neighborhoods. Design safer crosswalks near and at the West Somerville Neighborhood School. Help aggressively improve our sustainability initiatives to combat global warming and continue to welcome and keep our safe, our immigrant neighbors, to name a few. I want to continue being your alderman because I love Somerville. This is a great place. I'll keep working to bring all of our talented neighbors together to shape our neighborhoods, to realize our shared vision of open, accessible government, affordability, and jobs. By working together these past few years, we've co accomplished much, but there's much more for us to do together. I humbly ask for your vote on November 7th for Ward 7 Alderman. For more information, please visit my website at katiana.org, Facebook and Twitter, and thank you.